welcome to Two Guys Garage. Now you're getting a sneak peek here of a very special project we've been working on. This is Gunnery Sergeant John Hayes' special dream ride. Yeah, we have an American hero here, and I'm not talking about the car. I'm talking about this guy right here. No, 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 no. Yeah, let's, keep, let's keep pulling that back. <laughs> no. You gotta wait for the open, man. <laughs> Hang on, stick around. You're gonna see the whole thing. <laughs> John, man, you a little excited? Oh, yeah, extremely, a bit. Yeah. extremely, extremely. Well, to give you a little bit of background, we've been working on this thing for a little while. Yeah. So it is now not only a custom car cover, which is just the top of the <laughs> iceberg, right? There was yeah. a custom car under here, and we've been building on for a little while, and we got a lot more to go. So you ready to kind of see where we're at so far? Oh yeah, extremely now, ready. Now, John, you have a couple of signatures, and we y apply yes. those to the car. You I, ready to see a couple? I, I'm ready to see. Okay, All ladies right. and gentlemen. Oh my God. Oh man, that's killer. Oh, and it, the paint looks perfect. It sits it off perfect. I can't believe that. What is, what, tell us a little bit about And that's paint, it. that's not a decal. No, that's no, paint. No, this is all hand that done is, by the guys at PPG. Oh my God. Everything on here, this is all custom work. It's amazing the number of layers, the number of hours, the all skill that, that went in, and pretty much to create this for you. That's the way it should be painted. You don't understand, like that, that is perfect. And uh, Okay, why the buzzer, why the pickaxe? The EOD has taken the Marine Corps emblem, the eagle, the globe, and the anchor, and then turned that into a buzzard, because we're lazy buzzards, a bomb, because we work on explosives, and a pick is usually what we're digging the ordinance out with. So it's our take on the Marine Corps emblem. And what do you guys do? And in in, in out there in the field, tell everybody what you guys do, because it's amazing. It, it, any, anything, any, any U.S. ordinance, any Ford ordinance, any nowadays where uh, improvised explosive devices are our name to fame, that's, that's, what we, that's what we do. We have to take care of any munition, any explosive item that hasn't detonated, landmine, anything. It's our job. And this actually Signified. landed you up in this. That's it. That's how I got hurt. That's how I got hurt. I was working on an IED, found one, didn't see another, stepped on it, and next thing you know, I'm here, a year yeah. and a half later. Hey, but you're here in front of your dream car. <laughs> getting, getting ready, <laughs> getting my dream car. They still actually produce this car, and that's what's amazing. I've never owned a car that they've actually produced, <laughs> sports car-wise. That's so amazing. Oh. And for you guys to do this means so stinking much to me. Man, well, we're sitting here watching car TV oh, and, and taking it easy. Guys like yeah. John are out there every day risking life and limb yeah. so that we have our freedoms, we have our protections, we have our great country that we live in. So today is just a day that we can kind of give you a little bit of payback. Yeah. Some of your other peeps out there, they're out there working hard for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to incorporate John a little bit into the build. Because yep. this guy is a go-getter, man. He yeah. is all over it. Nothing Nothing's going to bring him down. Him down. <laughs> no. He's mountain bike racing and <laughs> marathon. And, and he's, uh, yeah. he's going to be behind the wheel of one sick Corvette. <laughs> Check this out, John. Heck yeah. The design incorporates a lot of graphic elements. It kind of gives a sleek, fast uh, motion to the car. Um, a lot of the, the man hours were, were really spent on laying out the graphics, making sure everything was, was perfect. Then after that, we started thinking about other ways to really make the car personal to, to John, basically. And uh, he was part of the EOD in, in Iraq and Afghanistan. And uh, talking to him, he was real adamant on getting the, the actual EOD buzzard on it. Uh, because with the Marines, they're very uh, you know notorious for the eagle and the globe with the anchor and with the buzzard he told me that uh, it's kind of one of those logos that the marines frown on because it still has that same look but it's not the typical globe and anchor it's got a pick it's got a crazy looking buzzard and a bomb and uh, he was really proud of that logo so we're going to definitely do that big on the the front of the hood here the tattoo that we're uh, going to do is uh, kind of a, a hidden surprise, if you will, with John having a, a tattoo along with his dad of the, the EOD logo. It's got a kind of a bomb on the one side and a crazy looking skull on the other. And again, it's something that's very personal to, to John and his father. And uh, Paul's going to be doing the, uh, the airbrushing of it on the back hatch of the car. And uh, again, we're doing a kind of a, a real nice and subtle tone where it'll still be a nice focal point of the vehicle, but it's not going to be a real loud and in your face kind of have a more personal touch to it. So I'm taking his tattoo and I'm sketching it out on this transfer paper, which will actually make a paint mask. Normally I could just put this right on the car, but we're putting this in a place on the car where there are already graphics and there's multiple colors underneath it. So I have to turn this all back into one color. 
There's the area where we're gonna put the tattoo and it's got the multi-colors. And now I'm cutting out the detailed areas. What I wanna do is cut out all the areas where the blackest part is, and then I'm gonna take the reverse of that, the positive side, and I'm gonna lay it down. So I'll, I'll transfer that to here, and then what I'm doing is I'll be able to come in here with my black and it will register everything. It'll put everything in proportion. It'll put the nose, the star, the eye, where it needs to be. So this is kind of a fun process. I cut and just make little templates, basically, what I'm doing. I'll spray a light coat of black. I will remove the templates, and I'll come in and do more of the shading and the detail work with the airbrush. The artwork's almost complete. Just doing a couple little uh, touch-ups here on the, the main part. And the next time you guys see it, it will be in the two guys' garage. So there you go, John. Some amazing work they did at PPG. A lot of hours, a lot of layers, a lot of time, man. And just to keep it nice in your shop, your garage uh, or whatever, Covercraft Industries gave us this custom oh, form fit cover, complete with our logo on it, so you don't forget where you got it from. That's the best part, man. <laughs> That's the best part. All right, yeah. we're gonna take a break. When we come back, we're gonna walk you through some of the stuff we've already done to the car, some of the really cool bits, and start hammering out some of the new stuff we're gonna do, starting off with some of the brakes. Awesome. This segment of Two Guys Garage is brought to you by CRC Industries, makers of Brake Clean, the original aerosol brake parts cleaner. All right, welcome back. Now, John, you saw the top side. PPG just rocked it out. Yeah, pretty impressive on the top side, right? It was awesome. All right, now, Kev's gonna roll you under here and uh, kind of explain what all the things we did on underneath of the car, even more impressive. We've got our intercooler buried up there. Wow. Nice, bad little unit. And right about here is where we splice in for the turbo system. We got our twin STS turbos here. We got our four outlets. The center two are from the turbine out, and the outer two are actually the wastegates plumbed in to make that four stack like on the factory car. Wow. Now what's cool about these turbos in the setup, they're good for about a thousand horsepower. Wow. So we got you rocking about 630 right now with the all cowl right, and the tune. All right. So get your feet wet. <laughs> but when you're ready to get a little bit squirrely, you can go in here and dial them up. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, we got you. All right, start with some Akibono premium brake pads to give you absolute control, NVH, just noise, vibration, harshness. They're made in America, you're gonna love awesome. that. Heck yeah. Dust free, so good stuff. Yeah, and what's nice is this is their ultra premium ceramic. So this is actually the latest compound. So this is the compound on the 2012 Corvette. Awesome. And it's baked in for 2009. So we got the latest premium pad to go with. And why are these guys Our slotted DBAs. in this, this direction? Well, this is from Disc Brake Australia, and these are their premium rotor. They've got a you know, high alloy, it's a high carbon alloy, so it's gonna have good thermal stability. Well, with all that heat that you put right into that pad and that rotor, like instantly when you start hitting the binders, it'll take any sort of gases, air, that's trapped between these two, and they're gonna put heat in and expand it. So, just, so it's gonna try to separate that pad from the rotor, got give it. you that spongy, soft feel, so what you do is you put slots in, you can do cross drilling as well, but the slots are typically a little bit more robust. You don't get the spider cracks from a lot of the cross drilling. So it's nice and smooth, lets the gases escape really, out of there. Really state of the art stuff. Wow, I appreciate it. Oh, no, you're not appreciating it. You're putting it on, bro. <laughs> let's All right. do it. Let's, let's do, do it. it. All right, let's start lowering the car. Let's <laughs> grab some tools. Let's get dirty. Okay, I got the bleeder tight again. What I did is I just loosened the bleeder, and John here just carefully wedged in between the pad and the rotor, squeezed the piston back into that caliper. So we spit the old fluid back into the pan instead of shoving that heat cycle fluid in the caliper back up into the line. So now, I'm pretty much ready to start pulling bolts, dropping this stuff out. There you go, man. Got them all bolted in, ready to roll, man. You gotta love that. Okay, so here's the deal. Got your turbos, got your intercooter, got gauges, got all kinds of stuff, got your <laughs> new rotors, put new uh, Akibono uh, brake pads on there, so you're not gonna have to do with that friction, that dust, all that stuff made in America. Come on, son, give me some of this. That's it. All right, but we're not done yet. 
No, oh, man. We got more for you. We got We're some more for you, Bubba. Uh-uh. Check this out. Oh, man. The magical mystery tire just That's rose it. in the set. <laughs> <laughs> All right, check it out, bro. All right, we got this from Discount Tire, okay? It's the Falcon of Zenith. It's the Cray Scorpion rim. We're going to throw this on there. Not only will you be burning these things up, you'll be really sticky when you're going through the turns, having a blast, right? A lot better, a lot you, better wear hey, pattern. These are going to put those hand controls to a <laughs> test. I guarantee it, John. Let's try All that. right, so let's get them up here. We're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, you think we're done, John? I think we're done? I hope so. No, we're not done. Go drive it. Find out what's next, okay? Two guys in the garage continues with our superhero marine. All right. There we go. All right, today's tip is all about the oxygen sensor. Now, the O2 sensor is in the exhaust system, right? So it's a little sensor that sits there. It reads how well the computer did at putting the right amount of fuel in with the incoming air. Now it's in a closed loop, right? So it's getting feedback, it's feeding back to the computer, it's constantly adjusting, giving you the best emissions and fuel economy. Well, closed loop only works in idle conditions, maybe light acceleration and cruise. Outside of that, the sensor can't read it. It doesn't have a field of view. It's just an on and off, lean or rich. Now in the 90s, Denso developed the air fuel sensor. Now it's an enhanced version of the oxygen sensor. It's got a wider field of view, so it's gonna cover you in a wider application of you know, engine operating conditions, so you get better fuel economy and better engine emissions. Now you can see it's got a four wire versus a single wire like in the old days. It's got refined zirconia on the inside and a lot of other improvements that make you know, the sensor act faster, better, and give you all the things you need to do to pass smog and get that fuel economy you want. So check them out at Federated Auto Parts. It's the first time fit system. Make sure you get the right one from Denso. Hey, welcome back. We're here with Marine Gunnery Sergeant John Hayes. Bro, you've been a huge help. So Thanks, thank bro. you so much. Turn the wrench is helping us out. It's kind of like Christmas, right? Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, well, way better. Yeah, way this is a Christmas better. tree with your Christmas lights, man. We got these pups already mounted. So we're not done yet. You get more stuff. Oh, man. Uh, Phillips has hooked us up with these LED daytime running lights. Now you may ask yourself, why do I need daytime running lights? Yeah. Well, they found out, believe it or not, there's a 14 to 15% increase in safety, all right? And they have that right. mandatory over in Europe and in Canada right now. Okay. It's coming this way. We're going to get you ahead of the bell curve because awesome. we want to keep you safe. Bro. Appreciate it, Okay. Man. Now, let me show you a little bit about these things. Come in this cast aluminum case. So these are the real deal, unlike some of those accent lights, you know, plastic the plastic and, ones yeah, that yeah. melt and all that stuff. And the color burn temperature of these are amazing. It cuts through all the haze, really smoke, fog, whatever you may run into, okay? Yeah. Now, check these out. All right, so say you jump in your car, start it up. You're sitting at 12 volts, so when you start it up, it's gonna run up to 14 volts or so, and bam, wow. look at nice that, and woo, right? Yeah, well, that's what I'm you're talking getting attention, about. you got it. Yes, you got your attention. Now, the cool thing is how easy these are to wire up. Yeah. Literally, you know, a red wire to black wire, you pretty much got it. So check this out, you never have to crack into the cab for a wire of your car. Just break your, uh, your headlight wires with this little guy right here, and as soon as you turn on your headlights, this is gonna simulate your headlights coming on, watch what happens. Boom. They kick down. Yeah. Got it. So that way you're not you're not overpowering with your headlights and these. Right. Got it. Okay. Exactly, right? So how easy is that, man? Too it's easy. that simple to wire up. All right. So pretty cool stuff from Philips. It's their LED daytime running lights. It's DOT approved. In simple to wire up. Yeah, they come with these clips. They got mounting holes here. You got can't it. get much better than that. No. Yeah. So well, speaking of visibility, sometimes it's the little things. This Brought awesome. your car in, you had the squeaky wipers. No good. We're putting you some new ones. So yeah. These are like the latest and greatest design, oh, right? Man. It's the Trico Force. It's a unibody construction. And what's kind of cool, right? You got turbos. You're going to drive a little faster than normal? A little bit. Little. A little faster. All right. Normally, your wiper blades start to lift up. They get fluttery. Yeah. Well, these have a Vortec airfoil, right? So the air starts to bounce right off of these guys. Keep them down. Hug them to the windshield. So no matter what driving conditions you're in and what speed you're going, <laughs> everything's nice, clean wipe. That almost sounds like a challenge. Yeah. Let's go. High glide coating on there so they're smooth and quiet. So I'm going to go mount those guys on there. Hurry up. Let's go. The lights are on. Let's go. Yeah, I think they'll lift up pretty Drive. much. Yeah. We're waiting on you. We're waiting on me. All right. Let's they go, go mount the Trico Force. Let's go drive All right. Let's do it. This segment of Two Guys Garage is brought to you by CarAncestry.com. Create your free virtual garage at CarAncestry.com. All right, welcome back. You're ready for this. Oh, Everybody's yeah. ready oh, for this. Yeah. This has been a dream come true for you this afternoon, right? Oh, yeah. The dream's almost complete. 
John, welcome to your new chariot, but we have one last little surprise. <laughs> yeah, you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> but are you really ready? We have one little detail here. There you go. We laid in for you. Oh my gosh. We know that's important to you. We know it means a lot. Oh my God, you guys are crazy. <laughs> you guys You're are crazy. crazy. <laughs> Every time you get in this car, man, there you, you get go. to remember. I can't believe Your you. Your mentor, you put right there, right alongside it. I can't believe you did that. Wow, that means a lot. Mm. Oh man. I don't mean to tear you up before we go tear it up. Let's do it, buddy. Let's do it. Right? Right? I'm there. All right. Oh man. Sorry, Willie, but I'm in already. <laughs> what? And obviously John's in already. Hold up, hold up. So look. I'm sorry, buddy, but. <sighs> All right, man. I'll come back for you, I promise. Well, well, look, we like, know this is a, a dream come <laughs> true for you. I know you've been waiting <laughs> yeah, to do this. Yeah, buddy. Thank you, brother. Enjoy, man. Will do. That's called seniority. We just took a spin, but the ride's not quite over, man. Yeah, we've been telling you the entire day that the ride's not over, and my man, it's not. We got more for you. All right, so go ahead, take a look to your right, and open your eyes. Oh, <laughs> man. More goodies, man. You guys are killing me. You, <laughs> you know you're gonna you're do gonna some performance me. driving. Gonna, yeah. So we hooked you up with some more safety gear. Yeah. But remember that question you asked Kevin earlier when you saw the twin turbos? About the warranty? Yeah, if that was going to void your warranty uh -huh. or not. The answer to that question is, mm, probably. That's why we went out <laughs> and, uh, and got you a five-year warranty oh, from CarSafe. Yeah, you man. Anything me. mechanical, electrical, computer, these oh, guys man. will take care of all of it. Roadside assistance, rental car, literally, man, five-year warranties from our friends at CarSafe. That's now crazy. you're covered. Now you can go anywhere. Now you can handle your business. Huh? You That's get a little crazy. wiper motor go bad, you call them up. Oh. Yeah. Everything gets fixed, yeah. man. Everything you name it. Call. Now, normally, yeah. normally you get a car that modified. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of hard to insure. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but for you, for this project, man, they came in strong. Wow. And for everybody else, no matter what kind of mileage and year yeah. you have, call them up. They can put a plan together for you to take you care of it. All right. So we went to SCAT. We got you some racing seats. Oh, my God. Not yeah. a bad little deal. Yeah. Nice Double little stitch, stitching, right? yep. We All got right. you a five-point harness from Mastercraft. Keep you locked in there nice and tight. This and your friends at PPG, they took yeah. the roll cage from RPM, painted the same color of the car. So, you know, you might want to throttle down after you tune that, those STS turbos up to about 1,000. You might want a roll cage, bro. I'm just saying. You know, we got a lot of friends out there through in things like backpack. We got goodies. Federated through in another AGM battery. One more prop we got to give out to, reliable carriers. They helped us get your car back and forth to PPG. That was really cool. But you know what? Before we go out to the next scene, we yeah. one more special person we'd like to bring in. Yeah. Your wife, Janelle. Come on, girl. <laughs> Gotta tell you, this is the reason you're alive. Bro. Exactly. She, right is, she is a true inspiration. Come on, she, <laughs> this is Janelle. This is John's wife. She's been with him through everything. Through everything. Man. We've been hearing the stories all day. <clears throat> totally like choking me up <laughs> right <laughs> now. Me. <laughs> girl, I have so much respect for you, for both of you. Yeah. This has been an tell awesome you, build, man. Remember the spirit that this guy brings. I gotta tell you, it's it's unbelievable. Yeah. We captured a little bit of, on the show, but this guy is amazing. All right, we're gonna take a quick right. break, pull ourselves back together. Yeah. <laughs> you guys stick around. All right. Thank you. For more information about anything you've seen on today's show, check out speed.com or visit twoguysgarage.com. Hey, welcome back to the break room. Up next from Cam 2 is our Blue Blood Racing Oil. Yeah, this is a synthetic blend, and what's great about it, it's a multi-viscosity. This is a 20W50, and it's got a big shot of zinc in it. It's that ZDP. Yep, that's going to bond to the metal, prevent wear and friction. Yep, keep you from wiping out all those cam lobes and all those other parts that wear out. 
Now it's also great, it's got real top of the line VI improvers and it's got you know, friction modifiers so even though you've got the viscosity to keep your parts from contacting each other, it's got the friction modifiers to make it nice and slippery, improve your performance and your horsepower. There you go. That's Blue Blood from Cam2 joining our full line of passenger car motor oils. Okay, next up from White Diamond, it is their metal polish and sealant. It literally removes oxidation and discoloration from just about any type of surface imaginable. Aluminum, brass, stainless steel, all kinds of good stuff. You name it. What's nice is it's super easy to use. Yeah. Just grab like a terry cloth, a microfiber cloth, put a little bit on it, and you can start to just work that surface a little bit. You don't need a buffer. And you'll yep. see it start to kind of black and you know, haze up a little bit. And that's the oxidation getting you know, stripped off the surface. You buff that right out and the shine just comes right through. It's nice and sealed and protected. It'll last you yeah. for a really long time. And literally, you could use it on just about anything imaginable, from trailers to bumpers, wheels, rims, yeah. home appliances, your refrigerator. Yeah, stainless, stainless steel, steel refrigerator, yeah. stove. You put it on all that stuff. It cleans it nice, puts a sealant on it. That's the White Diamond. It's their multi-purpose metal polish and sealant. And what's great, they also come in the little mini pack. You can take them with you on the go. And next up from SDP, their multi-purpose motor treatment. It's an additive for your fuel and your oil. Whether it's a small engine, big engine, two-stroke, four-stroke, gas, or diesel, you just pour it in, basically it goes to town. Right, it's got a lot of good additives in there. It's got fuel stabilizers in there. It's got detergents. It's got antioxidants to stabilize the fuel. So it's great. It has no alcohol in it. So it's good for when you're going to store your vehicles, store your toys. You can put it in your fuel system to flush it, put it in your crankcase to keep it clean. STP multi-purpose motor treatment. Uh, next up from KYB, now these are shocks and struts, these are original equipment but for the aftermarket so you can replace what you got on your car. Yeah, they're designed to replace it, not alter it and I gotta tell you man, if you look at how many times that shock or that strut cycles, it's amazing, about 1500, 1900 times per mile, you're looking at 50,000 miles, 75 million times. 75 million up and downs, up and downs, up and downs and what that's going to do is fatigue out yeah. a lot of these little components in here that are controlling the valving and how that shock reacts to these inputs. Yep, and that's why they have all that precision valving in their struts and their shocks in KYB. Available at Federated Auto Parts. Yeah, now speaking of performance, man, yeah. that vet came out really oh, cool. Man. It's really neat how the hand controls work. Yeah, you I know? love it. Well, and those turbos work, man. Well, yeah, all of the above. Yeah. I think John's going to have a blast in it, man. It felt really good to give back to a really cool guy. Yeah, that's for sure one of my guys I consider a hero, man. Anybody in our armed services. So thank you, John Hayes, for your time and our military. And all the rest of you guys that are out there, well, you know what, man? We're out of time, so we're going to have to see you on the next show. Take care.